so hi everyone i am joy and today we are going to see why buffer is used as input port and latch is used as output port this is a block diagram of input interfacing if you want to interface any input device you have to draw this figure you require one decoder to which address bus is connected the output of the decoder goes to the one gate and in the another input of gate the input output read control signal is connected the output of the gate is connected to buffer you can see that at the one side of buffer the data bus from the microprocessor is connected and to the another side of the buffer we will connect some input device now let's see the block diagram of interfacing for output device you can see that the to interface output device the block diagram almost remains the same but the only difference is that the port is changed for the input device the port was buffer for the output device port is latch and the control signal also changes so for the input device we saw that the control signal was input output read but now the control signal is input output read now let's see one example to interface output device you can see that in the figure to the another side of port we have connected leds and leds are connected in the common cathode configuration now what is the meaning of common cathode configuration common cathode configuration means the cathode part of the leds are connected together so you can see that the cathode part of the led is connected to the ground but the anode part of the led is not connected together the anode part is connected separately to the one side of the port now let's see how to glow all the leds to glow all the leds you have to write one program so the program goes like mvi affh and out eth what is the meaning of mvi affh it means the ffh data will be stored in the accumulator out eth it means the data in the accumulator will be transferred to the port and to the led now because the led is connected in the common cathode configuration whenever we send one to the led this led will glow so if you convert ffh into binary you will get all ones and if you send all ones to eight leds which is connected to the port all this led will glow so when this program is executed all the led will glow now because we have used latch as output port this led will keep glowing why because whenever we send any data to the latch the latch will store that data until we reset the data so when we send any data to the latch all the data will be stored in the latch and latch will keep sending one to the led so led will keep glowing so what happens when we use buffer if we use buffer instead of latch the led will glow and turn off in fraction of time so if we use buffer we will not see that when the led is glow and it will turn off it will glow it will turn on and turn off in fraction of time that we are not able to see because what buffer do is buffer just pass the data so if we want to interface any output data we will use latch because we want to keep glowing all the leds now let's see why we are using buffer as input port now you can see that in the another side of the port switch are connected and you can see that the switch is connected to 5 volt and to the buffer so to read the status of the switch we have to write the instruction in 90h 90h it is the address of the input port and when you write in 90h the status of the switch will be transferred to the accumulator now you can see that depending on the status of switch either it is on or off we are going to receive continuously high or low signal so if the switch is closed we are going to receive 5 volt it means 1 bit if the switch is open we are going to receive 0 volt it means 0 bit so depending on the status of the switch we are going to receive some data now you can see that depending on the status of the switch we are continuously receiving data so it means in this case we are not required to use latch 
because we are continuously receiving data latch is only needed when data is received in the fraction of time and data is gone but in this case we are receiving continuous data it means we cannot use latch uh, using latch is totally unnecessary so in this case we are going to use the buffer so buffer will pass the data to the data bus and data will be transferred to data bus to microprocessor and from the data bus in the microprocessor accumulator we will get the data so this is the reason why we are using latch as output device and buffer as input device and this is it for this session if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much Thank you.